So I skipped a few steps. I'm so sorry. My next step would be um, the nose contour, which I used this Morphe brush and I'll take Hoola and I'll, and I go like this, just down there, down there. And that's it for that. And then I'll take the, the I've been using this e.l.f. stipple brush with Hoola and I just start at the ear and go back and forth on both sides. I'll take it under the chin, around the jawline, excuse my double chin, um, and then I will take my real bronzer that I use, butter bronzer, with a Morphe best bronzer brush in the world, M527. I'll take my bronzer, if it was open, take my bronzer, and I'll just go on top of the cheeks and swirl it down, swirl it around on the forehead, on this side, up and down back and forth i try not to go <clears throat> below the contour line sometimes i do sometimes i clean it up sometimes i don't today i will just for the purpose of the video then i take my blush which i have been doing my milani blush which is on a morphe e4 which is from the manny mua collection love this brush my life changed when i got this blush brush um i take the honest pinch uh peony pink cream blush just dab it in and I'll go on the apples of my cheeks and towards into the bronzer. Again, apples of my cheeks, back into the bronzer, a little on my nose. Sometimes I'll do a dab there, a dab there. After that, I'll take this, which I just got in my Ipsy bag, which I'm in love with. The Ciate London in Pinch Me. It's like a pink with a little gold, and it does have a shimmer, but I usually hate shimmers in blush and bronzer, but the Butter Bronzer and the Ciate both have shimmer, but I absolutely love it. Um, I'll take it like this. Excuse my band-aid, story of a preschool teacher, hot glue gun. It was a mess. Take it like this, and this color I'll put mostly on the apples of my cheeks and blend it. And I'll take a little on my nose, a little there, a little there. So it has a light sheen, as you can see, because the light is reflecting on my cheeks. Um, and that's that for bronzer and blush. And then highlighter. So I have a few highlighters that I love. Becca in Champagne Pop and the Master Chrome from Maybelline in Rose Gold. I love these both. Sometimes I can't decide in the morning when I'm getting ready for work. I'll pick either. Lately, I've been doing a liquid highlighter and then the, the powder on top, which I'll show you. So this actually, my best friend gave me. She works in makeup PR. It's a nude, it's nude sticks and it is the color. It's a magnetic nude glimmers in the color. It doesn't say a color. It's like a rose goldy color. And then I have the Cover FX Glitter Drops in Moonlight. So it depends. If I do this, the Becca, I'll go with this. If I do the Master Chrome, I'll go with this. Um, I'm going to do this because I love this one. So I'll take it and I'll either use my finger or I'll go directly on my cheek. And I just dot it like that. Now, it might look like I'm using a lot, but this blends out very easily. Sometimes I only go up here. Sometimes I'll go down there. It depends. And also, I forgot to tell you, I'm primer obsessed. I forgot to go into my primers, which I'll do at the end. Um, then I take this on this side, like that. And go like that, blend it in. Take the extra, put it on my nose. Okay. Now, it looks beaming, but I have the light shining directly on it, which is why. Then I will take, sorry, I'm trying to clean up a little as I'm doing this, because I don't have much space. Then I will take my, oopsie, my Master Chrome in Rose Gold, Morphe Brush, M510, Manny Collection, just this, and then I'll glide it on my cheek. I'll do some up here. Sometimes I'll put some on here, just even though I'm putting eyeshadow primer on after, just for, you know, a little extra. I'm extra, like I said. Then I used to do my entire nose, but now I've just been doing the tip and the top. Cupid's bow. 
Sometimes I highlight my chin, sometimes I don't. I have very combination skin. Sometimes I break out heavily and I have to cover pimples, which I can do in another video. Um, sometimes I have dry patches. Sometimes, you know, I'm crystal clear. Right now I happen to be clear minus one or two little um, issues. But this is nothing compared to what my face could be. So next step, let me just fix this. Next step is lips depending sometimes i do lips at the end um i'm gonna wait and do lips at the end um actually no i'm gonna do lips now sorry so lately i've been loving this huda beauty and crush loving it so what i'll do is i'll take a tissue and just clean the foundation off my lips obviously and then i will take a liner today I'm going to be using the Maybelline color sensational in nude whisper now I like to go line my lips obviously sometimes I'll go a little outline just on the cupid's bow a little over Maybe a little out here. And I like to go in a little bit more with my liner. Just because my lips do get dry, which I have a problem with, and they get cracked and, and not cakey, but PC in there. If anyone has any recommendations for liquid lipsticks that don't do that, I like, um, I don't prefer a gloss, but I usually like just plain matte lip, liquid lipsticks. Um, Okay, like I said, I go in a little bit. Then I'll take Huda. Now I tend to go over my lip liner. I find it very hard to keep the lip liner line and not go in it. Some places you can see it, some places you can't, but I kind of like it. This is a color. And I do this at the end just to kind of push it in. Now, my favorite trick is Jeffree Star, which is amazing liquid lips. I'm nude. And because I'm a teacher, sometimes I don't like to come in and be like, bam, here's my lipstick. So I take the Jeffree Star in I'm nude and I'll just go over about half. Half of my lips. I'll smush them together and then I'll pat it in. And see? That made them a little lighter. Jeffree Star liquid lips are phenomenal. Um, Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink. Phenomenal. Um, I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of what I have that I love. ColourPop liquid lips. Phenomenal. Um... The rest is in my other drawer and I'd have to move the camera. So I will can tell you that, that about that another time. Um, so next would be eyeshadow and lashes. Um, okay, let me figure out what eyeshadow I'm going to do. And then I'll be right back. 